Hi guys. Well, first of all, thanks again to all of you who's been leaving all the kind comments. And I'd also like to give um, a nice welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. Anyway, here I am again. Another restoration, as you can see. This time, Bill, I think it's, yeah, Bill Bailey, if you're watching. You asked me in the comments if I've done a, one of them superior ambulances. You got the got the light on the top. Well, at the time I didn't didn't have one, but a few days ago went to the local toy fair and I managed to get hold of one. Only cost me a fiver. It's got all the bits there, all the the bit for the battery. I'll, I'll cut it here. I'll show you that. Is that the one you're on about? It's got all the bits, everything's there, and I've already had a muck around with this because this wasn't working and i remember in your um <clears throat> messages you said you can get yours to work well it will work it's it takes a lot of cleaning all these i'll show you in the video anyway but anyway i think all this needs here is, is a respray so um let's get on with it right so as i said i managed to get this working and as you push it along as you see the light flashes just do it like that there and what that all that is is, is this piece here that's the switch that piece here on the axle as that turns it it's a uh, and the, the current flow through the body and that makes the light flash like that you see Now, if I take this out before we start drilling anything apart, what you got to make sure, Mr. Bailey, Barry, Bill, Bill Bailey, sorry, what you got to do is make sure your bulb is, and everything is all working. And all I've done is make contact with that and the battery to make sure the current was going through this piece okay and it wasn't. So what I had to do was inside here, this all comes apart. I cleaned I cleaned all that out inside there. All that was all caked in rubbish and horrible mucky caked on stuff. This this was one too bad. But you've got to make sure that is totally clean inside there and the connectors. Get a screwdriver or a knife in there, anything, just to scrape it off if you can. But this piece will come off this top piece. There's a couple of clips there, look, and it sort of moves and clips, unclips from there. And make sure you don't break it when you take it apart. I don't really want to take it apart again. I've took it apart so many times and I to get it right. But it just clips away from there, that then comes apart, and that comes out. But I um, thought I'd better check the bulb, make sure it is working before I do go any further and it is working so you put your battery in there like that and then you, like I said the body of the car saying that it's not working really. I broke it already they are very ten temperamental things these I'm to get that bow right for a start put it in again and there it goes and it works again but just keep playing around with it you will get it to work I mean if you can if you look below the video in the description where I've got me um, description of the video the model supplies up at there the address it'll tell you there they they sell them, model supplies, Steve Flores do sell these ear kits, I think they're about six quid or something like that, but he do sell the actual, he's actually reproduced this thing, and he do sell, sell them, so if yours is busted beyond repair, then you can get another one there, so anyway, let's get on with um, sorting this little thing out, now what I was thinking on this one, 
There's only one rivet there. I was wondering whether to put a screw there because in time all this inside is going to get grubby. So I thought if I put a screw there instead of a rivet it might be better you know for maintenance and cleaning. If you've got to clean it all out inside you could actually take the stuff out inside and give it a good clean out and put it back together again yourself. So I might contemplate doing that actually. But anyway, let's get on with it. Be here all day in a minute. <laughs> First of all, like I said, draw your draw your river out. Get this thing apart. Because like I said, it's only pretty sure it's only gonna be a respray on this one, there's not much else that needs doing to it. Looking at that. before and get that priced out and there it is there's the top piece and that should just come off now quite easily see there's nothing to it inside it's just that's not going to take a lot of um, sorting out is it I mean there's nothing nothing to it it's just that two lots of glass I mean, if I go careful with that, I don't want this to come off, so I'm going to be very careful with this. I don't want these transfers to come off. Give that a clean up. There's another screen there, that. And you've got your lights. These here are like um, trans, translucent, I think they call them translucent lights. So if you look at this in the dark, when you've got that little light lit up on the top, it also makes the easier light up as well, because the light from the boat goes through there and lights them up as well. It's quite a clever idea, actually. So you got them. you got the top ones there to come out. Get them out carefully, the one I'm breaking. And there it goes. There's the next one. And then you got your little silver. That just needs a good brush with a wire brush. And then all we've got to do is put a screw in here if I can now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down there with me drill. Me two and a half mil drill and I'm going to find a screw and cut a little thread in there so I can screw it together and then all that is done is just strip that oh, it's a two toner again I've just realised <laughs> oh well give me a chance to try that time of tape out so let's get on and drill this thing out a bit more and then I'll be right back right as you can see I've drilled out this hole again and I've managed, managed to get a screw in there and I'm, if you're doing this at home be very careful when you do it because these screws are not that strong and if you're just doing it like I'm doing it I mean I don't don't normally screw things back together I use rivets but the odd time I, I will do a, a screw fit version and I am got a tap and die set so if you're using an actual self cutting screw do it bit by bit and put a bit of oil on it if you've got it and just go like like that and work it like that and then screw a bit more and work it down a bit more like that and then take it out and do that like two or three times before you get down to where you need to to get a tight fit because if, if you don't keep taking it out and get the rubbish out there's a good chance to screw a break and then you'll be buggered this one's done now, I mean he's gone all the way in that, he's screwed in nice and it's a nice tight fit now in there. So 
that's that's done as far as I'm concerned now. So now all this needs now is just paint stripping, and then we can um, respray it, and I'll respray this as well. Clean all these bits up, and then I'll be putting back together again within no time because I haven't really got to do nothing to it. Like I said, it's two tone. That's about the only snag with it. So what I'll do, I'll paint the bottom piece first, I think, because I want to see how wide to put the line on this. So I'm going to mask up this bottom half so I can see how far I want to put the line because it it goes around there, you see. And plus you've got all that shown as well. So what I'm going to do is put this piece, this colour on first. I'll spray it all white on the coat first, I think. And then spray the red on and then mass, mass the red up and then spray the white on last. And we'll see how it comes out. And like I said, it's a good chance now, a good time to use my Tamiya. What you've all been banging on about for me to use. So let's get on and do that. Right, so we've got all this um, stripped off now. All cleaned up, ready to be sprayed. I've left me screw out. I should put Ian at the end. So I'm going to get this masked up now, and I'm going to use my straw for the wheels. That, as you see, it goes right over like that. Get some of the cut off and put over. I might have a couple of old ones actually. What I've used before and use, and then that's ready to spray. And this one here, I'm going to do a coat of undercoat, and then I'm going to put the red on. So let's let's do it. Right. So I've done the undercoat. It's looking okay. So now I'm going to put on the bottom colour, the red, the red that go on the, goes on the bottom. So it's a bit windy today, so I'm going to have to bear with me with this, folks. Oh, there's nearly fell off my bloody thing there. to watch this now because the actual things come loose. So when it's gonna hold time for me it's probably going to be a day but for you a few seconds so I'll see you in two right so as, as you can see I have now this like I said it would be a couple of seconds for you I said it would be didn't I well now this is like a day later and um, I've masked up all the bottom but I want to keep red and I've, what I've done is use Tamiya to do the fine bits like I did with that red pinstripe stuff on the other two tone thing I did but I thought I'll try the tummy right this time and it does stick very nicely and I reckon it will peel off nicely as well but I've had to co cut loads of little tiny bits to go around the curves there and I've just used my basic tape just to finish it off really so anyway I'm going to put this on a one of my spraying stands and um, get it sprayed. As you can see, it's on one of my spraying stands. A bit of wood. <laughs> you didn't set something nice and posted, yeah? 
Right, let's give it a first coat of white. Now this, I'm going to have to watch it again because it's still a bit windy today. So, just hope this goes alright. I'll spray down on it because I want to get that that ridge the line showing so we've got to spray down oops here we go trouble already move it back it's not going to matter anyway because I can touch that bit I think it'll be right. I think that'll do it, folks. Let that dry for so long. And then we can get the old um, varnish on it. So, folks, I'm not sure this is going to work. I've got some printer ink here. Because I've noticed on the pictures of this car, the ends of these here are yellow. They've got like a yellow transparency on the end. And the actual bulb is a red bulb. And I, for the life of me, I can't seem to find any more of these bulbs anywhere that are red. So I was wondering if I used a bit of ink, printer ink, whether it would stain it enough so it would still shine through so I'll put a little dribble in there I mean this might not work folks but well it'll be a first it's worth trying I think because I thought if I, if I can do that and then maybe dye it on with you know the um, what I use for the screens just to seal it on afterwards, like. I'm just hoping it might work. You never know, I might be lucky. Well, it's certainly changed colour. Whether that will work. Just get a bit off the bottom there. There's only one on the top. And then I thought, well, I mean, it's gone red. It should still shine through, shouldn't it? So there's a chance it might work. We'll soon find out, no doubt. If I let that dry, and then just seal it in with a bit of me um, full shine. I'll well, wash this out in a minute and try the yellow well, I wonder if I can I wonder if I can do it straight out of the bottle for the yellow I only want a bit on the ends don't I it's a trial of this stuff it's such a messy old job using printer ink it gets her it is water based mine so it's pretty easy to wash off your hands but I thought, you know, it's that colour in the, um, I'll just get it up a little bit, just to cover the ends of these. There. That's all I need. Stick it in there a bit more. It's worth trying, anyway. We're going to put that. That's trouble, you should be more prepared than me. I've got nowhere to put anything. <laughs> right, let's do the next one. Oh, no, no. Getting the bloody stuff everywhere here. What a mess. Well, now you know, if you want to do this, folks, you know what a messy job it can be.
But anyway, I'm going to leave that like that. And hopefully, look at the state of me. Hopefully, it will work. Right, now we've done that, let's get this masking tape off of this car and see if we can get a lacquer coat on it. Right then, here we go. Hopefully, this is going to come off nicely. What's the last pieces? It's the side pieces, will not it? So I'm not too fussy about these bits because the main piece is the Tamiya. And that's the bit that's got the um, the line on it. And these bits are coming off quite easily. off of there. So far so good folks. Take this out the inside. I didn't want all the um, white to go on the inside. That's why I masked all that up. Right, so I don't know a minute. Get rid of that. Right, here we go then. Let's have a look and see how it's come out. Right, what did I put on last? I think it was the back. I don't think it's going to matter actually. Let's use my little tweezers again. Doesn't want to come off, folks. I'll we'll start there. Take a bit off. Here we go. Now it's coming off. front piece is going to have to come off first. It's not looking bad. Not bad at all. This time here is bloody good stuff. Why did I buy this before? Look at the line. Very good. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, that ain't too bad at all. It's coming very nice. I'll just get that lacquered now and the next um, part will be putting it all back together again right since speaking to you last 
this light, I dipped it in the um, ink as you saw, well it started running off a bit on the top, so what I've used since then is one of these. A permanent marker. A red one, obviously, and I've dabbed it on very lightly to cover it over. And I've just got a very light spray of ordinary car lacquer. I put masking tape around this piece and just held it with the masking tape like that. And then just give it a quick dust. Just to hold it on there and it seems to have come out a lot a lot better. I mean that's a nice red bulb now. So I just thought I'd let you in on that in case you sort of saw it looking better than it did in the last picture. But there you go. So anyway, now we've done that. I can put all that back in there again. So that's all ready to go back. And now we can concentrate on putting this one back together again. Right, so first of all, we put our um, nicely polished little piece in the middle there. And we've got to get these back in, right? And there's little pins, as you can see, in the bottom of there. And on these here, they've got a little pin there as well. That so, all you do, push them in until they clip in. Push them in the O's. It's easier said than done, mind you. I'm going to have to use the old tweezers for this to line them up because my fingers are too quick to go in there. And get that lined up, and then. It in there it is, it's in there now. And same with the other one, make sure it's the correct way up. This one might be a bit easier to do. Line it up where the O's is and just drop it in like that. There, that's that put in. Then we want our um, blue. Well, no, we don't. We've got to put the other bit in first, haven't we? There's our nice screen, which was treated with the um, floor shine. It's coming out really nice. And that sits in there. Like that. Then we can drop our blue piece in. And that'll hold all that together. And we're getting there now. All we've got to do, really, is put the bottom on. I'll put all new tires on this one by the way. And this one you got like a little slot there that. So you slot that in and then drop it down like that. And we're not using um, glue on this one, like I said. We've got a screw for this one. So we just screw that one back back down. I've got a little bit of um Filing on my screw, magnetic. Anyway, we screw that one back in. Don't have to go too mad, don't over tighten it just a little bit like that. And that's all. I'm going to put that together. Now, can we get the light to work? Is it going to work? That's the thing. Usually I find when you put things back together they never work properly by the way. You've got to fiddle about. But let's hope we're lucky with this one. There you go, see? It's not working. It's something to do with the actual back not the battery, the actual bulb I think, the way it sits in the top. Much luckier, folks. I don't know why. Everything's gone wrong again. <laughs> why does it always happen to me? Push that battery run in. Another little filler. It's got to work. 
built to work. Come on. Ah, something's happening. I think there's a light. Come on, folks. There it is. I'll switch this light out. And there you go. The light is working. If you do it in the dark, you can see the little the yellow coming up on the front ones as well. That and the back ones. So if you've done this in pitch black, you would see all them lights lighting up. You can't see in this light very good. Ah, there you go. That. That one's lining up. And the front ones. So, there you go, it's all working. So, the next task now, just silver this up. We'll do that. And we'll see the before and after. And to do that. Get our Molotov paint for that. And give it a kick going over for that. Well, as you can see, this is what it used to look like. This is how I got it from the toy fair, just a, well, about a week ago now. And um, after all the, all the work, we put quite a bit of work into this one, we got the light working before I actually started restoring the vehicle. So that was um, out of the way. So after that, just needed a nice, paint, nice new paint job. And um, this is what it looks like now. All the lights is working again. Nice new paint job on it. All shining like brand new again. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I shall try and get back with another one as quick as I can. But in the meantime, it's bye bye from me.